welcome back to the channel. Um, today we'll be going over the ghost glitch effect in Final Cut Pro. And if you're interested in learning anything post-production with Final Cut Pro, um, here's the channel to do so. Consider subscribing if you're interested in any post-production work in Final Cut Pro because we will be dropping a lot of content soon. All right, now let's get into the video. Okay, so we have our two clips here. And we want to have the ghost effect start before the clip. So we wanna hold option on this clip here and drag up to make a duplicate. And we're gonna bring our cursor to the front of this clip and we're gonna hold it. So go to this icon right here and press hold and it'll hold it and you can just cut this so command b and delete this and we're going to drag this in front of the clip right here and then we're going to go to our effects tab and we're going to go to our mask and we're going to go to our draw mask right here and we're just going to mask him out right here Okay, so after you finish masking them out, um, you want to feather it so um, nothing on the outline is showing, so just feather it just a bit. And we're going to add keyframes. So let's go to the transform right here for the position and the scale. And we're going to take this down on the Y axis. So take it down on the y-axis and we're actually going to cut this clip right when we're going to drag this over just a little bit more we're going to cut it right where it overlaps this clip right here so we're going to blade that command b and then delete this okay so we've already started keyframing on the y-axis so um, you want to drag this over about halfway through the top clip and then you want to bring this up to zero on the y-axis and let's see how this looks okay so it looks pretty cool so far now what we want to do is we want to add some motion blur to make this look even better and like a more realistic effect. So we want to point this arrow up in the direction that it's going. So we can just go about to right here and that looks a lot better. But now um, for the ghosting effect, we want to duplicate this. So option and drag up to duplicate it and then for this clip we are going for the top clip we are going to reset the parameter so go to this arrow right here and press reset parameter and we're going to add a keyframe after we reset it so add another keyframe we are going to move this over on the X axis. So, and we're going to move this back like halfway. So, I'm going to click on our top clip and about halfway through, we want to bring this to zero and we're gonna make it go this way so you see how it's coming off from the uh, from the right side already so I can go slow frame by frame yeah it's pretty good okay 
we can drag this back just a little bit. And now for our last ghost in effect, we want to start it about right here. So you can go over this clip and uh, hit M on your keyboard and that's gonna make a marker. So press M and this little marker is gonna come up. And after that marker is there, you can uh, make a duplicate of it. So option and drag up. And after that, you wanna bring this in a bit until the marker to right where the marker is. And then you're gonna repeat the, that step. You're gonna um, press on this top clip and you're gonna hold it. And then you can cut it right here. Then we're going to click on the top clip and we're gonna go to our effects tab and we're gonna do another draw mask. And just mask him out. Okay, after you finish masking him out, we want to take the clip that we masked and we want to drag it in front of the marker. And drag it in front of the marker. And we're going to go to the beginning of the top clip. And we are going to add a keyframe to the transform button up here. And we can add it to the scale a little bit because right here we want we don't want this to show right here so we're gonna make it a bit bigger right there all right so after that make sure your playhead is at the beginning of this top clip and then we're gonna go on the X and we're gonna bring it outside of the clip and right when about a frame or two before it gets to the marker right here we want to bring it in so we can tap zero and let's play it back looks pretty good so far but we're gonna add that motion blur get the directional and motion blur and it's already going that way but you can increase it if you want and let's see how this looks That looks really good. And this is the glitch ghosting effect in Final Cut Pro. This music video hasn't dropped yet, but it's coming out soon. So whenever it comes out, I will, I will put the link in the description. If you guys enjoyed this, uh, like the video, um, consider subscribing because we have a lot of content.